Hello everyone, before we dive into RESTful web APIs, let us try to understand why do I need REST. Now to understand why do I need REST, you need to understand the current web clients. I think this image explains the things very well. Our old web client was computer system. But now you see our web clients are not only computer systems but laptop, palm top, watches, mobiles, game devices and many more. Now what do you think in future? Yes, of course. You would see all these devices as your web clients in future. If you don't believe me, you just go to this video and just watch what would be the future technology. So what you may see in future, any device around you will be connected to the web. So now what I need, I need some services who should share the data with these devices, which has a front end. If you see all these devices, they have some front end. So I need a service for any device with front end, which should be easy to implement, simple and lightweight because I don't want huge amount of data to be transferred over the wire and it should support all the features of HTTP. Now, whenever we hear the term web, the protocol that comes into our mind is HTTP. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So it should support all the features of HTTP. And it should follow all the standards and constraints that HTTP has. So this is achieved with the help of an architecture or you can say a web based software architecture that is nothing but your REST. REST stands for representational state transfer. So anything that you have on your server, it represents some data. So all these above features are fulfilled by your REST. So that's why we need REST. Now what is REST? It is very simple. It is a architectural style. So we have been hearing about procedural oriented programming, object oriented programming. Then we move towards component oriented programming. We were creating DLLs. Then we moved towards service oriented programming. And this is a kind of service oriented programming, but we call it as rest oriented programming or rest oriented architecture. And it was initially proposed by Roy in 2000 in his PhD dissertation. Rest is a concept. So any architecture which has few constraints that rest defines, then we say that that architecture falls under rest architecture. Now the constraints are performance, scalability, simplicity, modifiability, visibility, portability and reliability. Now, if you want to dig into some theory part of REST, you can definitely go to Wikipedia and you can dig into it. So as of now, I'm not going to dig much theory about it. So how web API is related to REST? So any API web service which adheres to these constraints is called as RESTful Web APIs. So what is RESTful Web API which adheres to all these constraints? The basic constraints you can say for your HTTP based RESTful Web APIs are first thing it should have a base URL or you can say base URI. URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. So anything that we access from the server is a resource now. So my resource resides at this URI. So this should be standard. This should not change. 
So I should have a base URI. Next, whatever the data I am transferring over the network, it should be of type. Basically, in, in your web API, it is of type JSON, but it can be of any internet media type or hypermedia type. You might have heard about hypertext. Now it is hypermedia or internet media. So you can you can share images, XML file, but majorly we share JSON data. This is the second aspect. The third aspect, it should have standard methods. You can say HTTP standard methods. Get, put, post or delete. So if you are aware of MVC, you might have heard about get and post, but rarely you might have heard about put and delete. So these are the basic things that your web API should implement. So what is get, what is put, what is post, what is delete? We will see that in our next slide. Now, what are the various famous web APIs in the market? So as of now, the famous web APIs in the market are Google Maps, Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, Facebook, and many, many more. Now let us try to understand where does web API fits into your ASP.NET. 